Hey, Lenny. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning to you. How's it going? Can't complain. All right, Crystal. With you in a moment. Good morning ah, to you. Perfect timing. I've got a message here for you. I really think you'll want to take a look at this. Well, don't stand on ceremony. So, um, here you go.
think you'll be leaving now. Buenos días, señor. No! You're not coming in the shop with your face covered. You, get that off, please. And Chief Lambert are real good friends. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. I'll... I want to see what you got behind that door back there. Now! <laughs> Nothing. This is a back terrace where people go relax and just get away from everything. Let's go in and relax then. Go on, move. Open up, it's me! Again? Must be a slow day. You know how it goes. So there you are. Where else would I be? Yes, I suppose you're right. Do you... need something? No, just came to get some fresh air. Hey! What the hell's going on? Hey, there's no need for that. Why all the security? What the hell's going on back here? No, nothing. Honest. I'm just paid to guard the place. To guard the back alley? Don't lie to me, you son of a bitch. I just do what I'm told. I don't ask too many questions. All right, you've got three seconds before your goddamn corpse. Three, two. OK, OK. Take it easy. <sighs> A little poker game, that's all. Third floor, upstairs. Door, Jesus, please, no, please. I've told you all I know. Third damn floor. Don't you try causing no trouble here. Leave right now. Oh my God. Don't do anything stupid. It's all right there on the table. There, there you go. It's all yours. Just, just, just stay calm, okay? I'm not doing anything. Oh, Take it easy. Oh, God, no. If I find out you fellas are holding out on me, it's going to end very badly for you. Oh, damn it. You keep your mouth shut. All that commotion, I wouldn't hang around, sir. The police respond very quickly around here. I ain't a patient man. Where's the rest of the money? I swear, that's all we got. Oh, God, please, go. We won't tell a soul you were here. I swear on my life. I will shoot you dead right there if you don't tell me where the rest of the money is. Oh, no, 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 please. Keep it together, you imbecile. You're gonna get us killed, Jim. Just tell him. Shut the hell up. There's plenty more in that safe on the wall, but only he knows the combination. All right, I'll open the damn safe. You need to learn when to keep your mouth shut.
Hello, ma'am. Good morning to you. Hey there, partner. Yeah, it means I. See you, Zach. So sad. Good morning, ma'am. Madam! Hey there, mister. Hey, mister. Morning to Howdy. you. Howdy. Good day. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. <laughs> so, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? An hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you, begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well, I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way, but it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Well, don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. On it.
This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. We can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. You've never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired I and I am no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. Wait, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Don't lose sight of him. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Excuse hey, you. Let's take care. He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. 
Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even used to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Oh, but you like that, don't you, Mary? I am ashamed of you, Daddy. Why are you doing this to us? What's wrong with you? With me. With me. Because I'm the one consorting with wanted men. Hey! You, Ashton! Hold her right there! God damn it! Hey! Stop that coach! up to this Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Father. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not.
Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why, Jess? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh... Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lamb. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality just as a proprietor Are you in of a the rush, greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare! for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. Fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly Stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Rich and poor and 
the bourgeoisie There's all heading down to San Denis But can't you see I'd rather live in San Dani Yes, I'd rather live in San Dani So draw your money Come see your honey In old San Dani Black girl can sing Flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. Woo! You you love her dulcet right? tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach all right. to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire, or to spend time in the company of strange women. <laughs> you are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah. Ooh. Stop it. Wow. This lady is exotic as all get out. Oh, wow. Yep, yeah.
enchanting, see this? mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Whoa, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Mate! All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? 
can't lie to you. I'm a wanted man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in that. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Hello, mister. Madam. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, mister. How you doing? Come on, girl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, here. <sighs> It'll never happen again. That, I swear. That's enough. Holy. Good evening. 
Yeah. What are you looking at, yeah. cowboy? Well, I ain't too sure. <laughs> what have we? Well, that's a feeling I imagine you're just too familiar with, hmm, darling. Now, shoo, please. I'm waiting for someone interesting to turn up. The minute I take the uniform off and walk a few blocks from the cellar, they stop. Gentlemen. Evening, here. sir. Please, gentlemen. Watch your step. You're embarrassing yourselves. You're not that even good drunks. Oh, what do you have? I guess you got plans this evening. There you go. I guess you let other parts do Not it. bad, huh? Good evening, ma'am. I'll have, uh, this town whatever you like. So bloody Nothing like boring. a good beer. Boring? Ain't a girl just all of you, you're young. all boring. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Not an interesting mind or a nasty habit among the lot of you. The place used to be sophisticated. Uh, the stories I heard would make a devil blush. <laughs> Not anymore. The devil's I'm told gone the elsewhere. Savages are giving businesses and we're a left with the choir of masters. Yes, indeed. And not the fun kind. No, sir. Just give me a drink, quick. Hey, this will give you some pep. Ain't you just the charmingest man in Dixie? You've set my heart ablaze. I do not have the words for such joy. You know something? Uh, another? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know nothing. Bunch of ignorant. Bonsoir, allies. monsieur. That's plural Evening. for ignorance. Hey, sugar. Latin, like. What is this world we're living in? I have an Nothing. Daddy hired a wonderful tutor. Poor fellow. <sighs> Fell in love with my mother. I, I hanged himself. They say hanged, not hung, when it's people. Evening. Down here, you say blanched. <laughs> but you always did mangle the language. God, I am so bored. Well, hello, handsome. Je vous salue. Bonjour. I trust everything is well. This thing's oh, really worse. God, I am so bloody bored. Do you know I burnt my new novel? <laughs> Finished it and burnt it. The novel is dead. Such tripe. I hated my characters. And after I'd tortured them for 30 pages, even I was losing the will to live. Tom? Tom? Where's Tom? The catamite. I'm horrified. Those riders been setting government buildings on fire? Hey, mister. I'm not sure How what do they, you do? they think they'll prove. Emerson's herd that died, heard it was poison. It ain't oh. the first time. <laughs> Did any of you morons read that last drivel Hello, written by sir. Evelyn Miller? Hey, partner. Oh, God, but... There's a small-minded simpleton. Je vous salue. I met him once. Jimmy, did you hear that? I met Evelyn Miller. They used to say at Yale that he has a tiny penis. Oh, you don't be shocked. Him? I can't say for sure. He wouldn't show me. But of course, keep him coming. God, what a bore. Listen, well, any man. Your whiskey? Any man that prefers trees to tits, <laughs> he gets what he deserves, and that's a fact. You don't uh, care for another? Sadly, no. Okay, but you made me sad, honey. Howdy, handsome.
Hi, darling. Excuse me, sugar. See, at this point, you can't find oh, many places. Don't get behind, behind me. Well, I'm on the deck. Of course. <laughs> sure. I'm in shock. Morning. How do you do? Thank you for your help. A long oh, man solves a problem. Some big old farm boy chased Cleet and his friend all over town for picking his pocket. Clearly they ain't got that. We can finish him here, man! Many.
Yep. Recognize you. Half a damn state wants to see you. Don't you move. Take one more. St Death, and it's your last. Now come on. Hold on, I'll be right there. Ah, perfect timing. I've got a message here for you. Do you want this now, then, or no? All right, well, come back if you change your mind.
been too many Federals coming through. Might have got some... Stop right where you are! Ain't worth our time. Hi there, mister. Well, slow down, will you? To what seems to be the trouble? Hey there. Has anyone seen Gavin? Morning to you. Please. Tell me you've seen Gavin. I don't even know what he looks like. Big bloke. Cockney. Londoner. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> oh, we've had such times, me and Gav. <laughs> no, sorry. I've yet to meet any hilarious Londoners. <laughs> oh, he's the best. Gavin! Oh. <laughs> I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Keep clear, we got a dangerous foreigner here. Oh, por favor, necesito ayuda. Help! Voy a matar ustedes dos. Hey, palate. I know Spanish too. You're making a big mistake. Stump that mouth up, or I'll do it. <laughs> On your way to a hanging boss? The heck do you want anyway? I won't ask you again. Move! This is a police station! You're under arrest! Dumbass. Hope you're gone. Made us a million, Arthur.
What's wrong, Mr. Pearson? Nothing. Oh, nothing. Well, then why do you look like a beaten dog? Because... I don't know, it's hard to say. The mud? The swamps? Do you know I once saw the cape from a 40-foot swell? I once crossed the equator during a meteor shower. I rode into a harbor surrounded by beautiful mating selling pineapple and colors. Colors so brilliant they'd burn your eyes. And now, I live in a swamp, waiting to get shot for riding with outlaws. Well, I never took you for the self-pitying sort. I never was. It's the mud and the swamps. <sighs> Sometimes it gets to me. Actually, I'm fine, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> Nothing like good, honest labor. Back to work. Morning. Good morning, Arthur. How you well? Hey. Morning, Arthur. Very Be good. Who's there? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. We are ridiculous. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Uh, this way, please, gentlemen. Uh, Senor Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. Ah, that's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, what a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friends with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has a the thing, you know, a respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. And you've washed for the prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, <laughs> this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is San Denis High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte? No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. 
Si that wretch is the mayor. <laughs> Henri Le Mieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Have a lovely evening. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose. You go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. you in a glass of champagne? Chambers. Ah. Pleased to meet you. Heston James. What a beautiful evening. Sure. Yes, <laughs> you know it. <laughs> this is quite a town that you have here, Mr. Jameson. Oh, I don't live here. An even greater wit. <laughs> I mean, modern art is all very well, but my daughter could do better. Oh, you're not such a Philistine as all that, Marie. No, I am quite that much of a Philistine. Besides which, Monsieur Chatonnet, he is a two-bit charm. Keep wind. Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. 
<laughs> Clearly not from this swampy hair. Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> I'm just gonna... What is this? Is anybody listening to me? You're walking away from history, you fool! I know I look like a drunken harlot, but let me be very clear, young man. I am a drunken harlot. <laughs> And tell me, in all honesty, I agree, that Major. I am not the equal of any man you've ever met. You're preaching again, Mrs. Wicklow. And you're burying your head in the sand again, sir. <clears throat> Don't blame me for God's mistakes, if they were mistakes. <laughs> what do you mean? Women are inferior to men, madam. It's not my fault. It's a fact. Undeniable. Demonstrable. I will not deny it simply because of fashion. I'm intrigued, sir, to hear your arguments. I am your clear superior. You're different, but you're neither my better nor my inferior, sir. Okay, madam. I will not prove it by publicly thrashing you. Uh, well, uh, you're stronger than me, sure. But as civilized beings? Haven't we moved past that? <laughs> Apparently not. Good evening to you, sir. I will go find some other people to threaten to hit me, if that's okay with you. So. Evening, ma'am. I mean, did you hear what that man said? Inferior. Do you think women should have the vote? Oh, I don't care. I've never voted anyway. Well, that's no better. Anyway, if you'll excuse me, I'm still furious with that oath. How are you all doing? Oh, how do you do? How was the show? I heard you went to. Ooh, outrageous. <laughs> These dancers. Well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you, sign me up for French lessons. Oh, would you like tickets? What? This cabaret show at the Theater Ramoua. It's jolly fun. Hmm? Sure. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Good evening. <laughs> well. <laughs> Can I help you, sir? Well, I'm not quite sure yet. Albert Daniels, a brain tilted. This is Mr. Hector Fellows. Well, it's uh, nice to meet the both of you. New suit? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no, uh, uh, no, it's a new shirt. <laughs> Are you new in town? Uh, yes, uh, I come from the west. I mean, the north. The, uh, the, the northwest. Okay. I came down from Washington myself many years ago. This town gets to a man, undermines even the best of us. I'm doing my best, sir. Truth is an absolute, sir. Don't you think? Well, I don't quite understand. Well, you are not, it would seem, the only one. I was in the Army once. Good for you. What do you do now? Well, uh, I'm not quite there. Uh, oh. I'm an American. Uh, yes, but what do you do? Oh, um, well, I'm in between jobs at the moment. Oh, of course, of course. You shall be too, sir, if you don't sharpen up your morality. I'm trying, sir, I'm trying. Well, try harder, much harder. But what would you like me to do, hit Impudence, the mayor sir. myself? Impudence. I see you still got that. But it takes more than a steady line and insults to succeed in newspapers, at least in mine. Good evening. Freak. So hard these days to find men of true morals, especially in journalism. Indeed, it is. <laughs> and you certainly won't find many here. How do you think they got so rich? 
Well, anyway, <laughs> enjoy your evening. You're the fellows who never lend me money when I need it. And when I've got too much, try to lend me more. <laughs> and what do you do, Mr. LaFont? Originally furs, but now all sorts. Lumber, leather, even maple syrup. <laughs> My partners and I represent 20, well, more like 23% of all the trade heading south from Quebec into the U.S. And who do you bank with? Oh, the usual bunch of clowns in New York. Do you bank with anyone in the south? Not one I particularly like. Well, have you considered Lemoyne National Bank? Oh, I need a big bank, sir. We borrow a lot of money and generate a lot of cash. Some nervous small town bank could finish us in a bad small year. Small town? <laughs> we handle more cash and cash equivalents than any bank south of Manhattan, including St. Louis. Almost all the Caribbean trade banks with us. We work with all the remaining cotton growers in the U.S. who still use a lot of cash, and we help finance half the reconstruction projects after the war. We love big clients, and we love cash. Our branch alone here in town has more cash reserves on site than any bank in the entire country outside of Wall Street and San Francisco. Well, perhaps we could discuss it further one day, Mr. Knightley. When it comes to bankers, I drive a hard bargain, but I'm very fair in business. I would at least like the opportunity to show you our business. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go find my fiancé. Of course. And congratulations. A wife is a wonderful thing. Could be interesting. I'll keep investigating. What a loathsome selection of humanity. How's your evening? <laughs> I'm still looking for him. <laughs> you okay? My lord! <sighs> The pesky nut! What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Uh, Algernon Wasp. Hello. Uh, Tashinish Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. No, what is it that, uh, that you do? I'm, uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, uh, me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable. An estate in this land of commonplace heathens. Oh. My card, sir. Hello, sir. Pay me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you again, my fellow adventurer. And please, do pay me a visit at my atelier. I'll try to. Well, enjoy the rest of your evening. Stay away from the would be my Evening, ladies. Hello. Hello. Hi there, sir. How do you do? Bonjour. Hi there. Of course, I'm married, Miss Tweedy, but marriage is more business than romance. And you're romantic, are you, Mr. Hawksbill? Always have been. A true romantic. A dreamer. 
Why don't you let me show you someday? And you think my cousin would appreciate that demonstration? Your cousin is a cold woman. I'm a very lonely man. And I am more than someone's blanket against the night's chill. Good evening, Mr. Hawksbill. Please stop pestering me. Madam. I am not the shell of cad I appear, sir. I love that woman. How are you, ma'am? It ain't complex, I'm you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Hey, what say you and me cool off? Hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Monsieur, please, please. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. No, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Why, hello. Oh, my. Look at that. No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turret. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him. 
I will not have standard slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you. You know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk all so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. 
Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <sighs> Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Ted. So, you gonna look into this bank? Yes. I wanna make sure we're fully prepped before making any moves. For sure. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. Mr. Morgan! Can I ask you a favor, if, if it's convenient, I mean? Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Seasoning? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Morning, Arthur. Oh, no. We don't need you you okay? Anymore. All of you turned him against me. You're driving yourself crazy. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right. You got some guts, kid. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Arthur. You settling back in? I like it here. Lots of places to explore. Well, don't explore too far. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, Uncle Arthur. 